Hello everybody, Archie's back in the garage again. Talking about my gear selector, I finally achieved the perfect gear shift. And I'll tell you how. Look. Right, here it is. How it works. Simple gear selector, nothing complicated. Gear selector thing and the link goes all the way to the engine. At the engine, of course, it does the job. It selects the gears. Seems to be simple mechanism, but you will ask me why do I have a spring in there at the end of a link? Now, here's the explanation. What the spring does when you're shifting downwards, shifting first gear, for example, it does nothing. It does a normal job as every single gear selector. When you are shifting from first to second gear, from second to third gear, from third to fourth gear, you actually are tensioning the spring and the spring, that wise, as you can see, there is a tiny switch that you actually click the switch and that cuts off the ignition. So as long as you hold the spring tensioned, you have turned off ignition and that loosens the gears and shifts the gears nicely and smoothly with no problems. Third, second, first, that's it. From first to second, tension the spring, cut off the ignition. Tension the spring, cut off the ignition again. And that means you can keep full throttle all the way as long as you want. not you would adjust how soon your ignition will be cut off so I still need to play with it a little bit to adjust it I wish you a good luck to recreate that but when you'll get it done trust me you will enjoy it